what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll show you how to use RetroHawk to play GBA games on your jailbroken PS4 using the Linux OS keep in mind guys that I've made many videos about installing Linux playing PS1 games um, Wii games and all of those if you guys want to check those links out in the description they will direct you to those videos okay also guys remember that you need your PS4 controller plugged in with the USB cable and your Linux hard drive or USB stick plugged in alright so let's get started okay so right here I have my USB stick and it's formatted to FAT32 FAT32 or XFAT will work it doesn't matter and right here I have a RetroArch GBA folder inside it that's where I have my GBA game alright so let's head over to the PS4 and load up Linux and get started on that side okay guys so now that we're on the PS4 now as you can see up in the right top corner it shows this square looking icon this is my internet so make sure that you have hardwire internet connected to your PS4 that means you should have a internet cable connected to your PS4 to support the internet okay alright so once you have internet remember that you should go over to the menu icon right here and just click refresh whenever you load Linux now go back to the icon and click file manager go to your USB stick that you have your games on so this is mine here and this is my RetroArch GBA folder so I'm just gonna right click and copy go to home folder go to ROMs and I'm just gonna paste my GBA folder right there with the games alright so once you have that loaded on you can close this page go back to the menu icon go to games and just click on RetroArch okay so as you can see RetroArch load up you can click this icon right here to full screen okay once you full screen it make sure that you have your Ethernet cable connected to the PS4 as I mentioned and also make sure that your PS4 controller is connected with a USB cable also let me know if you guys want to see me do more videos about using RetroArch alright so let's go and use the controller go down to load core go to download core as you can see we have we have a bunch of um, in cores right here these cores we can use like the arcade meme um, PC engine Nintendo NES Sega right but we don't have a GBA so just go to download core and right here we can download a bunch of um, emulators to use okay if a particular GBA emulator doesn't work um, all you have to do is download another one and try that one out alright so let's go with let's go with this one Nintendo Game Boy Color no that's Game Boy Color We're looking for Game Boy Advance oh here it is okay yes so let's do this one Game Boy Advance click X it's gonna download okay we can now press circle and go back go down to load content directory go all the way down to ROMs go to your GBA folder and then load the GBA game and there you go it pops up the emulator right there And as you can see guys I am using my my controller to move the move the arrow up and down I press circle to select circle again I don't have to do anything it's already configured so it's as easy as that you can also click the icon right here to give it full screen
so it's as simple as that guys um if the video have helped you out please give it a like also share the video around and also you can subscribe for more video to come thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next video